Welcome back in 2001. This was one of, if not the biggest reggae song in the world. Me if love's so nice, tell me why it hurts so bad. An instant classic that delivered the all important boss for Junior Kelly. Sad, missing again, if love's so nice. That opened doors for the lanky Sing Jay everywhere in the global reggae space. Take this love and we see. And soon he was being compared to artists like Sizzla and Capertown. Yes, missing you. By the mid 2000s, Juna Kelly ranked among the most toward artists in reggae. Everybody needs somebody to help them fight the fight. Today, 10 studio albums later, an update from Junior Kelly, urban poet, right now, right here on our stage. Should we call you or, or the album? Urban poet. Urban poet. Urban poet is good. Welcome, sir. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so um, where are you based these days? Jamaica, Just, Spanish town. You never relocate. No, I'm never relocated. No, you're always touring. You, uh, it seems to me that you're always touring. Am I correct or not? Yeah, you're correct. You're correct. Where have you, where, talk about some of the places you've been, uh, well, Junior. The length and breadth of South, South America, which is mm -hmm. um, from Mexico to Chile, and all over Europe, all the, the countries in Europe, you know? All right, so it's easy for us in Jamaica in particular mm -hmm. to say Love So Nice is yeah. your biggest record. In your catalog. Yes, yes. Today. Would you agree with that? Yes, yeah, it's still the biggest. It's still sought after by, by everybody. You know, if I go on stage, I have to sing it. Mm -hmm. yes, people are going to be disappointed. We have some really hardcore fans that's been there from Jump Street. They want to hear that. It's like, mm -hmm. it's more than an anthem to them. It, at the time in their lives, it's as if they were going through the same exact thing that this song was depicting. So, so it's, the popularity is universal? Yes, it is. So, so, so Jamaica isn't... Because there are times when an artist like you who travels so much. Yeah, well, the, pop, the popularity, yes, it's global. But I think it's the line that made it global. It looks so nice, why it hurts so bad. It's a really... <laughs> A Seriously. powerful, a yeah, powerful yeah, line, yeah, yeah. A, a powerful piece of poetry. <laughs> yes, there you go. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, sir. So, yeah, because I wanted to clarify that because in, in some places, like in Europe and mm -hmm. in, in South America and in Japan and so on, yeah. one can be very big and a big song, platinum even, yes, or, of or, and so on, gold, and nobody knows that song. There you go. And we know that you've released all of 10 albums. Yes. When we're not hearing an artist burning up charts and in our face every day. And in the diaspora. In the diaspora. We say the artist then not going on. <laughs> so I want to be clear on, on it. Because when one hears 10 albums from Junior Kelly, and they're looking in their catalog, and they can find a couple more tracks that they, have, they would consider to be hits. Mm -hmm. But they're not finding a slew of hits that, um, and enough hits to compare you back to back to continue, hits. right? To continue to compare you with people like Caperton and Sisla and so mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. um, because that was a comparison that was made at, at the start of the 2000s when you just bust. Yeah, I think that the, comparison was made based on the fact of the type of lyrics, yes, the lyrical content, the um, the the, the um, yes. You know? Your styling, your, your delivery, yeah, your, yeah, exactly. your, your, your consciousness. And, and, not with, yes. uh, and not with any financial resources, because that's another story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I try to stay true to the craft, and I've always said, you know, the, the, the best I can wish for is consistency. And I'm not going to um, erode my consistency, I erode my viewpoint on, on the terms of how I approach the music, the things I put on record. It's very important to me, because my call, mm -hmm. Every one of my creation in terms of music, my child, mm -hmm. I give birth to that creation. So if an individual come to me with something that is going to go against my principle and want me to voice for them, I'm going to gracefully decline. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I've always been in the lab. So yes, yes as I say, if I'm not top the charts in the diaspora and in Jamaica, um, people tend to think, say, not now going for artists like myself, but I'm touring endlessly. Yes, so, so sum up your progress for me. How do you feel about your progress, yourself, your own view on your career, 15, 16 years since your, your break? Okay, my view on my progress is this. Um, I start by saying, 
the worst thing somebody can come up to me and say in Jamaica, mm. Kelly, you still have the music. <laughs> <laughs> And trust me, okay. I've, gotten it. I've gotten it on several occasions. I made a smile. It's been the same thing that's been feeding me and, and, and my loved ones. Uh, mm. This is my life. There's nothing else I, I'd rather to do than music. You know, it's like my, it's like my wife. You know mm. what I mean? So um, I feel bad about that. And I know it's because a lot of people are not hearing me as often on the, 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 the radio waves in Jamaica and in the diaspora. We are now... Uh, intended to change that. That's our intention okay. now with solid works like Urban Poet because I've been always turning out material, you know. But really? The greatest thing is to always have good material so and always training yourself mentally and physically so when the break come, you know, you know, catch on a slump, you know, catch off guard, mm -hmm. you know, and as them say, with your pants down, so to speak, you're ready to exploit you're, it. Yeah, to, to exploit it. So I'm not going to be complacent. I yes. still a study, you know, I broaden my, my vocabulary, and, and still I train myself for that, that big break, because uh, another big break. Because, yeah, if people might say, you're, you're not known as much as you used to be in, in the diaspora and in Jamaica. And a lot of people are not going around a computer and there's one button you need to press. And everything does reveal to you how well I'm doing. Let me give you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of credit. Um, maybe I've not, I've not said it to you before, but let me say this. That after, you, after the break, mm -hmm. and Love So Nice burn up the place, and you came with um, what would now be called an EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of new releases. Yes. And uh, you have a whole slew of new songs. And you're one of the few artists that I've seen who's performed these new songs <laughs> to an audience live and the place appear for hours you're getting. Yeah. This was at Jamaica Grand sometime in that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you were performing live songs. Mm -hmm. I think it was CME or, yes, or a yes, conference. Yes, 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 it was. And you were performing these songs that were brand new because your catalog was very, was very small at yeah, the time. Yeah, of course. So you had to do new songs. And every word we could, we could hear as a sing J, mm -hmm. we could hear the lyrics for the song and understood the song enough to give you a forward. Yeah, a thumbs up. Very few yeah. artists, very few artists we credit for that. Yeah. And, and we're not talking about one song. Thank you very much. Or a piece of a song. We're yeah. talking about several Clarity songs. is important. Um, Butcher Banton did it once at some fest in the 90s. Yes. An entire album was played. And in dance hall, you don't do that. Yeah, you don't nobody, do that. Nobody, yes. don't, <laughs> nobody does that. And Butcher did it and took the, took the night. <laughs> that's very unusual, Kelly. And that's yeah, yeah. where you were, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. back then. I can do the same thing now and even yes. um, top, top that. Why? Because I think I know my material is current and, and, and with the time, mm -hmm. one. Two, I know I have the energy and the strength to deliver on stage without a doubt. Um, age now, nothing for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's just to plug these gaps and it's just to get to seize those opportunities as they arise. All right, so explain for me then what's on this Urban Poet. 16 wonderful tracks, 15 and tracks, 15 tracks and one um, bonus track, 16 tracks. All right, let's take, one, let's take one right away, right here. The power to the people, and let me tell you about the power of the people. And if you take away the power from the people, people are going to rise up because I saw people stand. Power to the people, come let's get together and be some powerful people. Cause that's how people stay. Yeah. All right, power, power to the people from Junior Kelly. Every Very time. relevant topic, ever relevant topic. Power to the people, Bridging. Nice. So that's out there and rotating right now yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's leading what's on the album. So, mm -hmm. so you were about to tell us what else is on it. Yes, well, um, we have um, three singles mm -hmm. um, that we're promoting. Power to the people is one, of course. Um, and you have um, Everybody Needs Somebody, mm. you know, as another single, and then Dig It Up. Okay, so the, all of them is in this style or, or No, it's, it's different. Each style is different. Yeah. Each style, this is, of because course, we know you, you a, a one-drop like one yeah. reggae style, a little bit faster tempo than a, one, a regular traditional one-drop, Power mm -hmm. to the People is on. Um, everybody Needs Somebody, really, really wonderful song. It's a thing that's going to creep up on people. And Dig It Up, is it's it's an acoustic it's an acoustic song 
depicting um, crime and violence, gun violence. And, okay. You know, it's not really basically Jamaica's overall, but mm. yes, I, I, I definitely sure so this song is going to take off because it's, it's relevant. And your marketing for this project is very different from your usual marketing yeah, approach. Yeah, yeah. You're starting from here, you're launching from Jamaica, from the diaspora, yes, Jamaica. You're yes. going after the Jamaican space. Yes, we're going after the Jamaican space ag aggressively, mm. I might add, you know, and because a lot of people don't understand who's in the, the, the business, even with the, the white um, or Caucasian um, reggae artists over in Europe, over in, in, in the Pacific, mm -hmm. you know, um, they're, they're basically their approach, their, their approach is from outside of Jamaica inward. Mm -hmm. And for some strange reason, when you come on to a, a reggae artist that lives in Jamaica, born in Jamaica, make the boss in Jamaica, his ripple must be from the epicenter, which is Jamaica, outward. Mm -hmm. People tend to have, give it more credibility. People tend to respect, say, for some strange reason, people tend to respect it from here, outward, than from outside of Jamaica, Coming inward. inward. You know? Okay, so the, the, authentic, uh, the authenticity yeah. is, easy, is easier to, to achieve yeah, yeah. when you're based here. Yeah. I want to tell you about. If you're based, yes. Yeah, I'll tell you an example. The song where I forgot the group, Say Yes, Say Yes. Is that song there? Mm. Um, but I'm in Europe and when I'm up on tour, I see it for the first time I premiere. I may say, This song, boss, you know. But it'll go, it go, go on some mainstream, which it did, um, some mainstream um, 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 radio and TV. And people are gonna just respect the fact say it's so big because it's a rotating in years because the power of advertisement is <laughs> is very very strong. Yeah. You understand? So it might work for them because their their their, their platform is not no local local platform. You see it on MTV, and we Jamaicans tend to watch those channels a lot, right? Maybe too much. Mm. And so for me, maybe it wouldn't work. You understand? I'm kind of glad. Say for me. You have to get your thumbs up and your respect from yard first, outward. My profile is that way there. All right. Judah Kelly, sir. So good to have you right here on Thank stage. You, Thanks for sharing with us. Of All course. the best with your Urban Poet album. Thank you. Your latest, the 10th album yes. from, your, yes, from your catalog. And um, we can only wish you well. And we hope this approach, this Jamaica approach, yeah, man. will work, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right, there you have him, Junior Kelly, the Love So Nice boss. Stick with it. When we come back, right here on stage, the dance or king, Beanie Man. He will be putting out fires. He'll be defending and condemning happenings in dance hall. Some of the biggest topical issues facing dance hall right now. Beanie Man is out front on just about every single one of those issues. You don't want to miss this. If you're ready for the summer, let's go oh. Shout it out and let me know oh, oh, oh. Girl, everywhere we go oh, oh, oh. Hi, thanks for watching our video Hope you have enjoyed it Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here And enjoy so much more Where that came from And a Drake player Which was controller mm -hmm. So when I say controller me, me cannot think in my mind It's the same song So mm -hmm. anyway 